and welcome to News Hour on Atlantic TV. I am Yonate Pogonyo. The headlines. 2023 elections. APC gives in to governors, terminates swearing in of campaign council. Terrorists kill police officer, set car ablaze, kidnap others in Casino. On the foreign scene, one police killed in suspected Kurdish militant attack. Entertainment. Arasta brags after her song tops music charts. In a move to mollify disgruntled governors, the Presidential Campaign Council of the All Progressive Congress APC has suspended the swearing-in of its 422-man campaign council earlier fixed for Wednesday. This was disclosed in a statement on Tuesday morning by the Plateau State Governor and Director General Tinibo Shetima Presidential Campaign Council, Simon Lalong. It was gathered that the decision was taken to pacify aggrieved governors whose nominees were not on the list released earlier. Police inspector identified as Idris Musa was in the early hours of Monday killed by terrorists. It was revealed that the terrorists had blocked the Casina Jabia Road and set the officer's car ablaze. The late Idris Musa was said to be on his way to work when he was ambushed and killed by the terrorists. We'll go for a quick commercial. Please stay tuned. Now on foreign news, it was gathered during the late hours of Monday that two suspected female militants had opened fire on police in southern Turkey. However, leaving one policeman dead and two others injured. It was later reported that the culprits killed themselves by detonating suicide bombs. Mavis record label signee Arasta has been trending after a subtle shade thrown at her colleague Ashake. She took to her Twitter page saying she had no reason to make noise about her success as her single tops music charts. The singer shared a screenshot of the Apple music charts with her new track sitting at the top sport, followed by Ashake's song Joha. That has been the news on Atlantic TV. Please do well to follow us across all our social media platforms displayed at the bottom of your screen. For more details on the news, kindly visit our website www.atlantictv.org. Thanks for watching and have a beautiful day.